Hello everybody. I thought I'd do a 12 month review of where I'm up to. I did a 6 month review, obviously 6 months ago. So I thought now it was time to just do an update and, and show you exactly what I've done in this last 6 months. Uh, before I do that, I know my video in the past, I haven't been up to... I, I've, I've not got much finesse with my video in. But I just I just do my work in my workshop. I stick the camera up wherever I'm working and and you get what you see and that that's that's it with me but I will try to I will try to improve on that. I'll try to make a bit more effort and, and make them a, you know try and make them a little bit better if I can. I didn't really plan on doing videos. I stumbled into it by accident really. Probably two two year back now. What I was doing, I was doing a, I made a, a contraption to fit on my Myford, Myford lathe to rewind Lucas Magnetos to do the rewinding. And if you, I've done, I've done it on video obviously, but if you want to take a look back you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But back then, I was still working on my old flip fold and I was trying to video off of this and the only reason I was videoing it is because I was doing it for a friend who couldn't get to see me what I was doing and uh, he suggested I videoed it so that's how I've ended up putting videos up then I progressed to an SD camera which uh, was a little bit better and then I've upgraded to this HD camera for the past I don't know perhaps three or four months so the quality of the camera is a lot better and I'll try to improve on me settings that I do if you like rather than just stick camera up wherever I can and, and video it I'll try and make a bit more effort effort but don't expect miracles anyway I've got that off my chest so 12 month then just before I start saying what I've done in, in this last six month if you if you saw this the picture at the front of this video that's the sort of local that I'm aiming for I saw it at an event last year that's the style I'm looking for now you never see two two of these same really they're all different all sweet peas and meter maids and smaller versions is it sweet violet and then bigger version is that one sweet William I can't remember but you never see two of them exactly the same so you've got a bit of scope to like do what you want to do so that's what I'm aiming for and although if you if you look back at my six month review it might not look a lot different but there's hell of a lot of work gone into it and what I've done since then I've done all the coupling rods and the connecting rods and all the brasses etc that couple the wheels up I've done the the wheel quartering and I've not I've never done any of this before I've done the wheel quartering I've done all the valve assembly the slides the way shaft and all the couplings the return crank the valve rods etc etc all you can see there on that running gear I've also done the reversing stand and its intricate lever mechanism mechanism I've recently done the cylinders so all the externals are done on the cylinders and I'm now, I'm now about to move on to the internals the pistons, the piston rings the valves in the top of the steam chest etc etc all the clevises and then I'll move on to the cross heads and all the assembly that connects all this up. So that's that's me my next gonna be in my next six month. Uh, I've also you'll see on my six month review that I've I've already done me and my hand pump, my bypass valve, my axle pump, my steam header, etc etc. You'll see all that on my six month review. Uh, what what I'll say is I know it's I know it's took me probably just over twelve months to do all this, but you know I have made everything myself. I've made the boiler from scratch. 
it's the first one I've ever done so obviously when it's the first one you've ever done it takes a little bit longer because it's, it's all new to you I've, I've made all the little globe valves and all the fittings etc everything you can see except for the pressure gauge I've made from scratch I've also made the arrangement for the foot plates I've put the rear foot plates on as you can see there and I'm going to put a foot plate right through the old loco I think that's it then so that's that's my 12 months review and just before I leave you I'll, I'll do you a quick shot of my workshop and show you all my equipment I'll pan the camera around and you know just explain what I've got So over there I've got my Harrison lathe. And at the side of my Harrison lathe I've got my Herbert pillar drill. Uh, that's solid cast iron that. It's very old. Uh, probably it was made maybe before war. And then at the side of my pillar drill I've got my bench miller that's fairly old as well it's not brilliant but it does a job then over at the side of my bench miller I've got my Myford tri lever lathe there's the levers on the top that's also got a screw cutting gearbox on and then at the side of my Marford lathe I've got my little bench drill cheap and cheerful bench drill and then over here on my, on my bench I've got my grinding station uh, I've put all my grinders on a rotary table I did that in a, in a video it, it just basically the space of one, what one grinder would take up, I've got three grinders on that. And last but not least, my little power saw that I made myself. And while I'm panning around my workshop, I might as well just show you this. That's my BSA shooting star. I had another one exactly the same, it, it was the twin to that which I've renovated over the last few years and uh, it broke me out but I've recently sold it and that's a, that's an original version that all the original paint and uh, really just untouched from it coming out of the factory other than being used and maintained all the paintwork's original, got the road arc panniers on. All the chrome works original. Everything's original. Yeah, so that's me. That's the same uh, model year as I am. Anyway, uh, that's my workshop. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on my next video, which will probably be something to do with the cylinder internals. Not quite sure what yet. Bye for now then.